Hi guys, I'm Lesia, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to talk to you about the books that J.K. Rowling wrote after Harry Potter and we're gonna be discussing three books the first one is The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling and then we're gonna talk about the Robert Galbraith series uh, which include The Cuckoo's Calling and The Silkworm Alright, so let's get started with the first book that J.K. Rowling wrote after Harry Potter and that was the book Casual Vacancy. Uh, this book has nothing to do with fantasy, it's a novel, it's very lifelike and it's uh, straightforward. And also this is the first book where J.K. Rowling uh, lets her characters use all kinds of uh, swear curse words. So uh, some people were saying that uh, this was totally uncalled for and unnecessary, although I believe that it uh, explains the characters a bit more. So about this story, uh, it actually takes place in a city called Packford. And uh, the story, it circulates about the death of a person called Barry Fairbrother, who was occupying a seat on the parish council. The parish council is an organization that makes uh, different choices and decisions about the city's development, and Barry was one of the people on the council who had the, uh, the right to vote. Uh, the story tells about what happens uh, after his death, and we discover uh, that Packford is not such a nice, low-key city as we might have expected. Uh, there are also series by the BBC, I think there are only three episodes of those, and what basically happens is that the people who live in the center of Packford, they're more uh, wealthy, they have their own life comforts, and they don't really care about the people who live in the outskirts. So the people in the outskirts, they're often drug addicts. This is basically the image of real life for some places. The ending is uh, a bit harsh here. I warn you, it's the same in the series, although they changed the course of uh, events in the series. So if you watch the series, please let me know down below what you thought about the drastic change. If you like happy endings, if you like sweet love stories, if you like everything that elevates your mood, this book is not going to be it. But it's very realistic, interesting, and if you're into plot twists and characters that like to plot stuff against each other and real-life characters that aren't perfect, that's the book for you. I really recommend reading it. I enjoyed it, although I had a hard time easing into it. I had to um, start it and then I abandoned it after like maybe 50 pages and I went back to it after a couple of weeks and I discovered that I just lost track of the characters. It basically it was a slow read for me, but I don't uh, generalize that much. Maybe you'll get into it and finish it in one day. So if you read it, please let me know. And we're moving on to the next book. On we go, and the next book that we're gonna talk about is Robert Galbraith, The Cuckoo's Calling. And this is a detective book, and it's very thrilling. This is the start of a wonderful new series. The story of the book is a beautiful young model uh, falls off her balcony in the middle of the night and falls to her death. And Cormoran Strike is hired to investigate the case to try to discover who murdered uh, this beautiful girl called Lula Landry. We're uh, meeting a wonderful set of new characters here. And of course I'm talking about Cormoran Strike, who is the detective and the main uh, hero of the series. And of course we meet also his wonderful new assistant Robin. Uh, Cormoran is an ex-army. In the book uh, the story starts with him actually being in lots of debts and having no cases whatsoever. He has his own uh, de detective agency, but nobody actually has any work for him and he slowly spirals down to the point where he can't afford anything, not a taxi, uh, not a proper meal, he has nowhere to live, he's broken off with his girlfriend and he got no place to go, work is all he has. I don't really read much detective stories, but this one really gripped me. And I found out after reading the next book also that you can't expect Rowling to just give you a predictable ending. 
of course not, it wouldn't be interesting to read at all. But it's not that guessable for me. Even if I try to go along with the story with Cormoran Strike and try to see in the details what he's been seeing, I definitely get a different perception of how the ending would go and I get got totally surprised by the ending of this story. It was completely unexpected to me. This crime novel is a must read for anybody who enjoys witty storylines, great writing, absolutely wonderful character stories and their personality is so believable and it's just a wonderful book so just promise me you'd read it. There's uh, this book, The Silkworm, and the next one is going to be coming out in October or November of 2015, sometime in autumn, so it's really soon. I'm totally looking forward to reading it. So uh, let's get into the next one. Alright, so let's get into the second book of the Cormoran Strike novels and it's called The Silkworm and it has been out, I think, in autumn of 2014 and I finished it a couple of days ago, maybe just two days ago and I uh, went through it in like a day and a half and it went really quickly for me and I really love it, it's a great book, I really advise you to read it if you're a fan of crime novels, if you're not, you still have to read it because it's awesome and Cormoran Strike is great and the story is really good so, um, the novel takes place after the Lulu Landry case is solved, the one that was in the Cuckoo's Calling, and this book picks up when uh, Cormoran's initial wave of fame has passed. He's hired by a woman to uh, find out where her husband has gone. He has disappeared for 10 days, and after 10 days of his uh, disappearance, the wife contacts Cormoran Strike and asks him to bring him home. And she, it doesn't occur to her that he might uh, be in some trouble, she just thinks he left her to spend some time alone to write his books. Uh, what started out as a missing case uh, turned into a brutal murder case when Strike finds out uh, where the writer has gone and he finds out that a terrible murder happened and he just has to investigate it. What's great about the book is that it's very dynamic, uh, there's a lot of conversation, a lot of interviews that Strike is conducting and at the same time it's still very interesting to follow him around. Uh, in this novel uh, we see Robin again and I li really love her character, she's so well developed, I really enjoy her personality and she's a very strong female character and I'm glad that JK Rowling is sticking with her. And uh, I gotta say that uh, I really like the relationship between Cormor and Strike and Robin. They really seem like the perfect fit, but at the same time you uh, get that it's like happening in real life. So uh, it's not as clear as uh, you might think if they would end up together or not. Another thing I've enjoyed about the novel is that uh, this mystery case has a very curious ending, which I did totally didn't see it coming, but uh, I would really love to go through the book again and read it step by step and check out all those hints and clues that uh, Cormoran Strike had picked up on. I think I should also reread The Cuckoo's Calling because it makes it all the more interesting to see the stuff you missed out and see the story kind of build around the book and see it coming. If you actually have any doubts whether to buy it or not, buy it. It's the perfect mix of mystery and beautiful storyline and you really get interested in the characters too, so all the thoughts inside really make you want to know more. Alright, so I've said enough. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and see you next week. Bye!